on our uh, train with the uh, bad by metal. And we've got a service first, factory specified part. Now, the old one was 120. I asked him up there why they, why it, why it was 130 now. He looked at it and it, and uh, apparently they changed it. So there's a reason that they did this. They went from 120 to 130. I wonder what that reason could have been, guys. Anyone? I bet you that temperature was too close. They had to, they gave it another 10 degrees variance on there because it was overworking the switch. That was it. So let's get to putting this part on here and uh, uh, right there in our hole there and uh, we're gonna plug our fan and everything back up and turn it back on and see what's going on guys okay all right we got our blower fan back on our door back on we got a door off here we're just gonna make sure everything's okay observe it and uh, make sure she is gonna run steady blink now we had a four blink code before oh, that sounded good Sure, guys. Variables are kind of cool. Uh, I don't like how much they cost, but there it is. It's coming on. It's looking pretty nasty in there, guys. I started to take the third screw to the right off there. But uh, before I did, I just wanted to get some video. That thing's pretty nasty in there. I'm just going to pull this igniter, this flame sensor. I'm not going to charge them for it. I'm just going to go ahead and clean it. And uh, it won't take me but a minute and a little piece of sandpaper. and. Oh, our fan just finally, variable just finally shut down. Now we can go over and turn the power off. I just wanted to see your cycle down before we pull that off, but uh, we'll get them cleaned up and get them put back in. That way customer will be happy. We'll have a problem later on down the line. Yeah, let's see if maybe we can't Get a little bit of footage here. And maybe we can, guys. We're gonna take this guy out right here. This is gonna be the sensor. Now these things are delicate. Not as delicate as the hot surface igniters but pretty delicate. This is ceramic here. And we got a rod that comes out and as you can see this discoloration starts and it gets pretty prevalent to the end of the tip so what we're gonna do is it doesn't look bad. I mean don't get me wrong but it doesn't take us for a minute. Try here guys, bear with me. 
There's our... through here on this guy right here. May have to go get my may have to go get my Phillips. No. No, we came off there. This is what it looks like when that boot slides off. terminal there on the end. Uh, don't don't yank on this wire guys. Trust me. She's gonna come loose right there and, and, and this is a very very small wire in that center of this thing. You do not want to damage that. Okay. Trust me. You just don't. Uh, so Again, this is very, rather, 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 because of the resistor here, it's a ceramic. This is a little delicate, so you do want to, you don't want to be rough with it. So basically, we're going to We're going to clean this surface here. It looks like some dielectric they had on there for contact. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually take that one back loose probably and sandpaper the back side too. Both, both surfaces just in case. And we'll clean both these rods here. And basically what it does is it sparks. In between these two rods, it sparks. For the igniter so what you'll have is you'll have a you won't have any up here you'll have it all right here on the tip in between the two points now all i'm going to do basically is i'm just going to fold my emery cloth and i'm going to going to go back and forth across the rods I'm going to get them good and clean, especially on that inside part. And I'm hoping you can see this, guys, because I'm just kind of winging it here. If I'm off on the side of the screen, I apologize. But you just basically go clean it and get to it however you can there. That inside part. Like I was saying, is the most important though. The outside can be shiny, it really don't matter that much. That inside section, where the carbon builds up from that spark. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Okay, I don't know if you got you guys saw that or not. Looking pretty pretty good and shiny now. Sanded this surface. Got it good and clean. 
sanded that surface, the mating surface there, sanded it good. I'm gonna do the same over there. I forgot to done that. Do that one, so. All right, just generally looking around. I like to just to kind of observe everything. Make sure that uh, we don't have any burns. We don't have any melted insulation. We don't have any problems. The only thing that I'm looking at, that I've looked at, that I saw here, as you can see right here, we've got some discoloration on our resistor. This is pretty typical of when you see the high, of the high voltage igniters. Uh, parts of the board tend to heat up uh, certain components of the board, and you get these situations like this. And eventually, this 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 will fail. Um, but it's gonna it's probably gonna be years and years down the line. But that is a telltale sign there. But uh, all the wiring looks good. Everything looks good. So um, let's fire her back up. See what she does. Okay, we just cut on. On our piece of fan. This should be the first stage. Second stage should be the igniter. The next one should be the gas valve opening up. That was it. Igniter sounds a little quicker now. Uh, before it was a little slower. Once we clean the igniter, we can tell it's says about the performance. Uh, flame sensor there. I'm just going to leave it running for 15 20 seconds to make sure that flame sensor is sensing. Within 5 10 seconds, for sure, the unit should cut back off. The flame sensor is not sensing correctly. <coughs> We're just double checking the operation after getting it back together. And, uh, we're two stage, two stage heating. As you can hear, we clicked up from low to high. Fans running, variable indoor. So we're good guys. Um, gonna call it done for the day. Well alright, we got them squared. Taken care of on this one. Uh, I uh, just want to show you. <laughs> Show you guys this filter. They nobody had this filter in stock. All right, let's go. Sixteen twenty-five by five. Merv sixteen. You talking about a big bad filter, guys? This is it. Nobody in my town in Huntsville, Alabama, had this guy in stock. Guys, have, have you ever been paid in anything other than dollars? <laughs> oh man, got an old lady. I could not leave without this plant. Um, you know what I mean? She's about 85. And uh, I said, sure. I mean, it looks really beautiful. I mean, you know, it's got these really thick leaves. I think it's really cool. I'm kind of a weird person. I think it's really cool. So, yeah. I got a plant. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta love heat in the air. You gotta love old ladies. Something about old people, guys. I absolutely love old people.